Nothing important is ever easy. Breathe deep and move. Well, well, look what we have here. Blood comes easy these days. Helped. Wanna dance? 
Jamelium is right. I should get a mask. Still alive. So, that's progress. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Zerg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis? That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please, hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps? But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. and invade your dreams, and still you would parley. I ask only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be... charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. The Meloan's mind pierces yours. The tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Sorry, I cannot 
assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spawns. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. The Southwest, when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. May your travels be safe and swift. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking.
very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. Welcome back. Have you made any new discovery? The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. There is rare magic in the Underdark too. Fairsress. It radiates from the Earth, warping teleportation and divination magic. This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. How is your more personal research progressing? Not well. The nutrition my species receives from other mines is difficult to emulate. Huh. Next, I wonder. Have you spoken with Scris lately? Yes. She is cataloging Koto and fertility rituals. Greetings. What knowledge do you seek? A tongue of madness. You may find them in nature, or the nearby cleric's tower. Be cautious. I have never seen anything like it. Is my species evolving? There is work to do. Dark dwarves, Dwegar, chopping fungal tendrils with their axes. The dark intruders broke our peace. They killed our young. We laid waste to many. Others remain. You see another vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. 
The sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but insistent. The rot festers. Where God remain? Lakewood. The sovereign's song halts as it measures your might. I will reward. You cleanse the rot. You destroy them. Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear chased by Dwega. The Dwega seek a gnome. It is a guest. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. An illusion comes over you, a Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision, a wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. Spores here only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Peace. 